Hi, this is Mia. And this is Maria. And today we'll be working on Chapter 4, Problem 37. Which involves a 1,000 Newton crate being pushed and pulled across a level floor. So here's the problem. A 1,000 Newton crate is being pushed across a level floor at a constant speed by a force of 300 Newtons at an angle of 20.0 degrees below the horizontal, as shown in Figure 37A. What is the coefficient of the kinetic friction between the crate and the floor? We have to list our numbers. We have the force of gravity, which is 1,000 newtons, the force applied, which is 300 newtons, and an angle of 20.0 degrees. So now we have to see what is left unknown. We do not know the, for the normal force, the force of friction, and the components of the force applied force applied in the x direction and the force applied in the y direction. Because the crate is moving at a degree angle, we cannot conclude that the normal force is equal to the force of gravity. Therefore, we have to use the components of the forces in the x direction and the forces in the y direction to find our normal force. <laughs> Now we can find the components of the force applied in the x direction and in the y direction. Our force applied in the x direction is calculated by taking the applied force, 300 newtons, times the cosine of the angle, which is 20 degrees. This yields an answer of 281.9 newtons. The force applied in the y direction is calculated similarly by taking 300 sine of 20, which yields an answer of 102.6 newtons. To find the normal force, we have to take in consideration of all the forces in the y direction. The forces in the y direction are made up of the normal force, which is moving upwards, so it's positive, the force of gravity, which is moving downwards, so it's negative, and the force applied in the y direction, which is also moving downwards since it is a push. So in order to calculate the normal force, we need to rearrange our equation, which will equal zero, so we can do this. Therefore, the normal force equals the force of gravity plus the force applied in the y direction. Now we can plug in the knowns that we can find on our free body diagram. So the normal force can be calculated from taking the force of gravity, 1,000, plus the force applied in the y direction, which is 102.6, therefore yielding an answer of 1,102 0.6 newtons for the normal force. Now we have to find the coefficient of the kinetic. Using this, we need to find the force of friction and the force of the normal force. To calculate force of friction, we have to take into consideration what is going on in the x direction with the forces. So the force of x equals the applied force in the x direction minus the force of friction. We know that the force in the x direction is going to equal zero because we're moving at a constant velocity, which means the acceleration equals zero. So we have zero equals force applied in the x direction, which equals 281.9 minus the force of friction. Therefore, we can compute it and find out that the force of friction is equal to 281.9 newtons. Now that we know the force of friction and the normal force, we can easily find the mu of kinetic. We know that our force of friction is 281.9 newtons over the normal force, which is 1102.6 newtons. So we can divide this through to find that our mu is equal to 0 0.256. Now going back to our question, what is the coefficient of the kinetic friction between the crate and the floor? And we got our mu to be 0 0.256. Now that we have finally found part A, we can move on to part B. If the 300 Newton force is pulling the block at an angle of 20.0 degrees above the horizontal, as shown in picture 37B, what will be the acceleration of the crate? Assume that the coefficient of friction is the same as that found in A. As we did in part A, we had to list our numbers. We have the force of gravity, which is 1,000 newtons, the force applied, which is 300 newtons, and an angle of 20.0 degrees. We now can add the mu, which is 0 0.256.
Now we can add our knowns to our free body diagram. With the force of gravity being 1,000 newtons, the force applied, which is 300 newtons, an angle of 20.0 degrees, and remember that our mu is 0 0.256. And the force applied in the x direction is 281.9 newtons. And the force applied in the y, which is 102.6 newtons. Now we need to recalculate the normal force since we are now pulling the crate instead of pushing it. So we'll use the same concept of calculating all the forces in the y direction. Except now, the applied force in the y direction will be positive because we're pulling it up. So, it all still equals zero, so we can rearrange the equation to solve for the normal force. Now we can plug in our gnomes, where the force of gravity is 1,000 newtons, and the force applied in the y direction is 102.6 newtons. This yields an answer of 897.4 newtons. Now, we have our Fn and our mu, so we can calculate for our FFR. When we multiply 0.256 times 897.4, we get 229.7 as our force of friction. Now, we can go to our force in the x direction, taking the force applied in the x direction minus the force of friction. Our force applied in the x direction is 281.9 newton, and our force of friction is 229.7 newtons. Force in the x direction, which is 52.2 newtons. Now, we know that 52.2 newtons equals the mass times acceleration, where our mass is 1,000 divided by 9.8, which is 102.0 times the acceleration. Now we divide through by 102.0 to yield an answer where A is equal to 0 0.511 meters per second squared. This is our final answer for question B.